It's early February in Daytona Beach, which means one of the biggest spectator events of the year is just around the corner. The World Center of Racing will host the 65th running of the Daytona 500 on February the 19th. There's already work going on here at the Speedway to get things ready for the big day. If you've got tickets to the race, or if you're planning a vacation in Daytona Beach sometime this year, you've landed on the right video. I want to take you around the greater Daytona Beach area and show you a few things that are new in town that you should add to your must-do list. From the Beach Street waterfront that's been given a major facelift and some new additions to the area's nightlife to a state-of-the-art pickleball facility and a popular local museum and botanical garden, which has received a major upgrade. On this episode, I'm running down what's new in Daytona Beach in 2023. All of that and so much more straight ahead. One of the most anticipated additions to Daytona Beach can be found here downtown along Beach Street. After years of planning and lots of hard work, a portion of the riverfront esplanade is now open. Spanning a mile of the Halifax River, the esplanade was designed to be a community gathering space and a botanical garden in the heart of the city. The park features a waterfront running trail with comfy benches and swings overlooking the river. There's also a dog park with an agility course and a modern splash pad. The north section of the Esplanade is now open with the southern side scheduled to be completed sometime in 2023. On the corner of Beach and Bay Streets in downtown Daytona is Madeline's Wine Bar. Housed in a mid-century building that was originally a pharmacy, the bar was named after the owner's first cat. In addition to a great selection of wines, the culinary options on the menu have a French influence, including build-your-own charcuterie boards. Over at the Halifax Harbor Marina is the new night spot, Mama Fufu. The interior design of this place is unlike anything you'll find in the Daytona Beach area. The food menu is based on a modern approach to a traditional pub fare, with a twist or two thrown in for good measure. Great place to enjoy fresh craft cocktails during a nightcap. The sport of pickleball is exploding all across the nation. It's really taken off here in the Daytona Beach area where the community of Holly Hill has gone all in with this growing state-of-the-art campus. Known simply as Pictona, it features 49 pickleball courts, including 13 covered courts. One of those is a championship court with seating for up to 1,200 spectators during tournaments. Also on site, a restaurant that serves up tasty, healthy foods, along with beer and wine, two player shops, and a clubhouse with locker rooms and showers. There's a lot more here than just pickleball. Be sure to check out the Pictona of Holly Hill website for details on admission, hours, and other sports available on property.
Fish Bar and Grill is one of the hottest new spots in neighboring Port Orange. Located on the city's river walk, you can get a little bit of everything here from all types of seafood to American fare, pasta, pizza, and sushi. The big draw is the giant 7,000 square foot rooftop with spectacular views of the Halifax River. Parts of the Daytona area shoreline saw major damage during the 2022 hurricane season. Segments of the coastline have been forever changed as a result. Racing's north turn here at 4511 South Atlantic Avenue in Ponce Inlet took a big beating from the tropical storms, causing a short closure so repairs could be made. We're happy to report at the end of January, this landmark eatery built on the same stretch of beach where Stock Car got its start, open to customers once again. And it's better than ever on the inside. All the photos and museum quality pieces are still on display and the food and service, just as great as it's always been. An old favorite has a whole new look. The Ormond Memorial Art Museum and Gardens has expanded its gallery and classroom space, along with adding a new rooftop terrace to the museum's second floor. The museum was founded in the 1940s as a living monument to creative freedom and equality of all persons while honoring the service of U.S. military veterans. Changing gallery exhibits inside feature the works of prominent Florida and international artists. Many folks visit the property for its lush tropical garden, which has walking trails, fish ponds, and a covered labyrinth walk. Hours are on your screen. Admission is free of charge, although a $2 per person donation is encouraged to help with the facility's upkeep. Ormond's downtown district on Granada Boulevard has a couple of new businesses you should check out. Neighborhood Ice Cream Shop occupies a vintage gas station that was lovingly restored. Lots of flavors to choose from, along with sherbet and non-dairy options. Outside are fun family games like Cornhole, Jenga, and Connect Four. Next door is a new hip barbecue joint called The Pump House. The fast casual restaurant specializes in Texas style barbecue infused with regional flavors from the Southeast. That's it, our look at what's new in the greater Daytona Beach area in 2023. Do you have plans to visit the world's most famous beach anytime soon? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. We have travel tips, maps, and links to the places mentioned in our videos on our website, chadgallivanter.com. Check it out. We like to think it's a great planning resource. Hey, one last thing. We've produced lots of videos on Daytona Beach and the surrounding area over the years. Take a look at some of our previous videos in our archives. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.